Hey guys, uh, today I just want to show you how to create this right here. It's a uh, bathroom linoleum or uh, vinyl, um, you know, tiles. They're not actual tires, t tiles, but they come in like, you know, you roll them out and then you paste them on the floor and stuff, you know, the cheap version. So, um, it's using just procedural textures. It's uh, using an array, of course, I made this, and you can see right here we did some normals to make it a little wavy like it actually is so let's show you how to get that alright let's click on file and new alright let's hit X to delete that default cube now let's hit shift A and let's add a plane alright let's hit 7 and 5 to go into ortho view tap into edit mode hit E then right click to leave that extrusion where it is then S so we can scale it out just a little bit then hit 1, and using the arrow, bring it down just a little bit also, just like that. Alright, we can tab out now. And let's go under modifiers, and let's add an array modifier. And we don't need to change anything, so we can just add another modifier. But on this one, uh, instead of being a 1 on the X, it's going to be 1 on the Y. There we go. And of course, if you're going to use this for a scene, you want to expand that number by increasing the count but since I'm just want I just want to teach you how to do this uh, you don't really need I don't really need a lot to keep track of so all right let's hit zero and so I can position my camera right click on the camera G then G and S again let's zoom in a little and let's render that just to see how it looks awesome all right so now we can get started on our textures if I can grab my camera just want to move it a little bit alright alright we got that settled let me widen up this right here alright let's right click on our tiles under material so let's add a new material and name that tile and I'm just gonna give it a slight yellowish look and let's click on this plus sign and I'm using a build of blender so if you just are using a blender that you downloaded off blender.org you're gonna see a 2 right here you wanna deselect that 2 and then just rename that border all right, and let's give that an intense white color. All right, so let's hit seven, tab into edit mode, go into face select mode by clicking down here, and shift right click on the outer edges of our tile, because we don't want that to be affected by the texture. So that's going to be like the mortar, the caulking, that you know, it's just white. No, well, some ir irregularities, but we're not going to go into that right now. So let's click on border and then click assign. And as you see now, the edges are now white. And so let's go click on our tile and click on textures. So now anything we make, any textures we add, they will only affect the tiles and not the border since it has a different material. New texture and it's going to be clouds. And this is just going to be a color. So let's uh, leave color as it is. And I just want to change some of the cloud settings. It's going to be uh, hard noise. And we're going to increase the size so there's a less noise. Let's click on both, actually, so we can see what's happening with our material. Oh, I just like the circle better. All right, so now if we were to render this, it's purple. Because under influence, we have color selected, and the default color is purple or magenta or whatever. Alright, so now we can change that color to uh, slight yellowish and re render that, F12. And now you can see you know, it's yellowish, maybe too much. F12. Let me see. Let's have it white and maybe a darker white. F12. Oh, you can't really see that as well behind the regular material. So I'm just going to make this stronger just so you guys can benefit and see it from your computer screen. 
And you know the problem is I probably made the material too strong. Alright, there we go. Now you can see it better. Let's go back. And that's all the settings we want to change. Let's click on a new empty slot, add new, and let's name this one COL for color. And the set the cloud settings are gonna stay as they are. We're just gonna change the color. And again, you know, just any color, F12, and now you can see a variation of color. Now the reason that we didn't change this one to hard cloud is because the textures, the texture that this has, the color is only going to affect that texture. And if this color texture, that this texture that we named color, it has a different texture than the first one. So the color is going to affect different spots, giving it more variation. I don't know if I'm making myself clear, but that's just basically where, why we're going to do it. Okay, and let's add another slot and deselect color and select stencil and stencil is basically a mask the textures that are under this are only going to be affected by this mask alright so if we were to re-render this no change because stencil doesn't do anything alright let's add a new texture and name that nor for normals this is not going to influence the color but the geometry so now we can make it nice and bumpy. So enable normal and re-render. And now you can see it's nice and bumpy. Um, giving a nice uh, uneven texture, you know, surface texture. And we can, it looks a little dirty right now. It's like yellowish. So we can actually, let me just decrease that one. Let it be pure white, but decrease in gray. There you go. That's much better. Alright, the color texture, we're going to just have it pure white and then bring down the intensity shader. I'm not sure what that's called, but uh, bring it down in color. And now this actually does look like a bathroom tile, which is you know very satisfying for if you're trying to recreate real world, real world textures without uh, images. And being able to recreate this in Blender is, you know, it's very, very cool. So uh, that's basically it for now. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you liked, uh, you know, if you like how I do my tutorials, uh, please subscribe, comment, and uh, thanks for watching.